Hi YouTube and welcome back and what a weekend we had the beta was awesome played all characters with all cameos so and even some casual games as well but now that the beta has ended I thought I was gonna have a small break for the Gamescom in Germany but we got some leaks to discuss so let's start our like to see show First we got some shots of Cyber Smoke and some new faces for the regular roster and the cameo. Here are the pictures for Goro and Serena and here is one for Meat and Mortaro. So Dynasty did a good video on the leaks so be sure to check it out. I just think that Cyber Smoke might be both cameo and a skin. If you look at Cyber Smoke's stance it looks like regular smoke. But rumors say that Cyber Smoke will have his original spear. To be honest, just because some characters are regulars doesn't mean that they can't be cameos. Look at Kung Lao. For instance, he is a base character and a cameo. So the Goro and Serena leaks are just the icons for the menu. And we've seen them in action, so I'm not gonna dwell on that too long. What I did find interesting is that General Xiao, Rico, Sindel and Nitara are on the roster, just like I called it in the what if videos. But that's not all, two more surprises are looking to find its way to the cameo roster and those are Mortaro and Meat. Both of them are a surprise to me. I thought for sure Motaro would only be in story mode, but it looks like he's in the roster. And looking back at the cameo fighters of the beta, I'm thinking I was wrong not putting Mortaro on the list. I think his moveset will be similar to Jax. Jax has a projectile, a body slam, and a ground power. So Mortaro has only been in his full form in Mortal Kombat 3. So I'm thinking he will have also the same iconic moves. So the projectiles from his tails with multiple shots for enhanced specials. Instead of the ground pound, we will get the ground pounds. And this grab will be similar to Mortal Kombat 3's animation. And this move enhanced would give him multiple smacks to his opponent. Then we have his back hooves move that launches the opponent from close to far distance. I'm pretty sure that's the way they're gonna do it. Okay, so let's talk about Meat. I'm still not convinced about this. I think Meat could be a code name for Dramen. Dramen is an Oni warrior and also has his flesh for show. Even though it still could be Meat, I'm thinking it will still be Dramen as a character. Another leak claims that the sub-boss will be Shang, and the main boss is Kronika and Geras. I think that's just pineapple pizza at this point. I think Kronika might have some role in the story, but not as a boss. The claim also says that the credits set up Onaga's return, and I actually think this is false. I think we'll be focusing on battling Mitara for her blood to cure or cleanse the realm. Mitara is a vampire, so that would explain everyone looking like Nosferatu. Oh wait, I mean Baraka. Instead of two fangs, it's all fangs and two blades. After we finish the story mode, we unlock the fight against Onaga, the only other fighter that has wings. So I can't wait for the next reveals happening at Gamescom. To see if I'm right or wrong, or either way, I think this game is going to be a blast. Make sure to check out Dynasty's channel, Combat Connections as well, as they are on top of the latest news for Mortal Kombat 1. And if you like our content, subscribe, like, share and hit the bell for notifications. Helps us out a lot. We have videos of tournaments, glitches, gameplays and news of Mortal Kombat 1 and other games. So thanks for tuning in. My name is Ro Mystery and always remember, yesterday's beta is tomorrow's meta. Thank you for watching. 
Ciao. For the better.